Hey man, we down in Baltimore, Maryland, man. Yo, yo, John, what's up, man? Hey man, you already know. You got mess with Cash Land Apparel. We we located at thirteen forty one Bayard Street in Baltimore, Maryland, in Pigtown. You can get on our website, shopcashland.com. Order, we'll send it straight to you. And you gotta fuck with my man Sean. You got the best YouTube channel on, in, on the East Coast. Yo, John, appreciate you, kid. All right, my guy. Peace. All right. Stigmatism in my soul. Yo, man, nigga got that motherfucking fed look, man. Right? That nigga got that fed look, man. Right? I got that fed look. Live TV. Do what it do, man. It's Big Bad Triller. On my way back to Beaumont, man. I'm getting a late start. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I should have been on top of my game mode, but I ain't gonna get off into that. But uh, man, I had to get some sleep. You know what I'm talking about? But uh, about to head back, man, and, and get my workout equipment. You know what I'm saying? For the uh, for the home workout. Get uh, my mama. She cooked for me today, so. I get a good, you know, get a good home cooked meal. Matter of fact, my favorite home cooked meal, you know what I'm saying, that my mama cooked when I was a kid. You feel me? But uh, yeah, man, you know, and I've been off and on with uh, you know, with posting my videos because um, I didn't have internet. You know what I'm saying? So it just this whole process just it just came so quick. You know what I'm saying? And uh, cause I did all I did all of this off of unemployment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I applied for a job out here in Dallas. They hit me back in two days. I went to the interview. They hired me on the interview. Like I thought the interview was over with. You know they like, all right, well, okay, well we'll get back in contact with you. I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know I'm thinking they about to uh. You know, call me back in a few weeks or something like that. You know, I didn't know how I was gonna go. It was, you know, my uh, supervisor, main supervisor. He came, he came out with the paperwork for the pitch. He like, hey, we can't let you leave without these. And boom, I got the interview, got hired, went and took the drug screen. So I knew I had the job because my pitch was clean. You feel me? And nobody just gonna invest a, a piss test in you like that. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, so I knew I had the job, so I was like, you know what, I need to hurry up and start looking for an apartment, find an apartment, put the down payment. Like, I was already saving up my money, you know what I'm saying? I saved up, like, maybe, like, 2500 or something like that. I wanted to save up, like, 3000 I think I had just 2000 but I wanted to save up, like, three. you know what I'm saying? So, boom, I got the apartment. Um, I had to, you know, pay the deposits. I had to do all that. And sorry, hey, and I'm driving too, so. But I had to pay the deposit. And I paid up a hotel room, a hotel suite for 17 days. I did all this off unemployment now. You know what I'm saying? All this came quick. So, uh, so, you know, I get here. You know, I had to learn the job. You know, that was that was a little pressure on me, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want to come out here and fail, you know what I'm saying? You know, I shouldn't have been in fear like that because, you know, I know our creator and my ancestors didn't send me all the way out here to Dallas to fail. You know what I'm saying? If I fail, I would really have to be doing some, some stupid stuff to fail, you know? I would have to get off course and, um, you know, actually start, you know, going after something, some selfish stuff. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here in Dallas to succeed and break generational curses. You feel me? So, uh, so boom, you know, I got the job down. You know, I ain't got everything down, of course, you know. I just started working here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's some trial and error stuff. You know that goes on you know if something goes on with the truck you need to know how, know how to diagnose what's going on so you can continue your job 
you know, it was different things with paperwork and, you know, putting stuff into the computer system and, and also, you know, just your overall performance, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, y'all know I got two bad knees. Uh, I injured one, I injured my right one years ago towards some cartilage. And uh, I didn't I didn't go to surgery for that. You know what I'm saying? I was a little scared on that. And then my left knee, um, I got ACL replacement surgery. So both my knees get inflamed, you know what I'm saying? But what I usually do to keep those from getting inflamed, I, uh, I buy ginger and turmeric powder and I put it in teas and it keeps the inflammation off of me, you know what I'm saying? But since I haven't just been to my regular self and making groceries, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really made no groceries because, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get them roaches out of my apartment so I didn't really want to, you know, buy too much stuff and, you know, have it sitting out and how, cause I was put, I'm putting everything in my refrigerator. So, you know, I just can't, let me see if I can get this camera to look better. You know what I'm saying? I need a haircut too, man. I'm, I'm gonna get that next week. Don't worry about that. You know what I'm talking about? But, uh, yeah, I'm putting everything in my refrigerator. Oh shit, I got a phone call, God damn it. But anyways, I'm putting everything in my refrigerator. I haven't bought no dishes. I haven't, uh, I haven't, you know, got no furniture or nothing. I actually got rid of that roach problem. I actually got rid of that roach problem, you know what I'm saying? So now I feel more comfortable, you know, getting my stuff inside the apartment. And, uh, mama, you calling me now. You calling me while I record, you gonna see it on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, you know, I didn't want to, you know, just start putting furniture and stuff in my apartment, and it's roach infested. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get them roaches up out of there, and uh, so that's why I'm heading to Beaumont to go get my stuff now. And uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday, today's Saturday, but tomorrow Sunday. You know what I'm saying? I bought a whole bunch of cleaning products. Man, I spent about 200 and something dollars just on cleaning products. And uh, I'm gonna get to it, man. Hopefully I can fit all of my workout equipment in this car, man. I got a big car. I'm swinging a big, you know, big body grand marquees, you know what I'm talking about? So I'm gonna break everything down. I'm gonna try to get my barbecue pit in here too. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, after today, man, after I eat this last little meal, you know, with my mama, <clears throat> I'm going back to, uh, to one meal a day keto, you feel me? I got to get it in, you know what I'm saying? I got to make sure that I'm at, you know, top performance, you know, at work, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't perform at my best if my knees are inflamed. You know what I'm saying? I can't move as fast as I want to. So I gotta make sure that I'm taking my ginger and my turmeric. And I recommend that to anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's some good stuff. It's a good natural remedy for inflammation. And it actually works. So uh, I'ma actually, uh, when I make it back to Beaumont, I'ma actually go to HEB and actually get uh, actually get some uh some turmeric and uh ginger powder and uh i'm gonna show y'all how i make it and how i make it taste good to how i like it you know what i'm saying and you could bring this to work you can make a big old cup of this bring it to work and sip on that throughout your whole shift you know if you got a physical job and you you get inflamed you get a lot of inflammation at work, you'll keep that inflammation down, you know what I'm saying, the whole time, and be able to, you know, work at a top performance, you know what I'm saying? And I'm real big on that, you know what I'm saying? My time's been a little slow with my job, you know, but I ain't said nothing, you know, I ain't about to just let nobody know I got a little medical condition, you feel what I'm saying? 
it, it's not stopping me from doing my job. It's just making me, you know, have to, you know, walk at a regular pace. Then, you know, speed walk and get shit done in a timely manner. You feel what I'm saying? But um, all that about to change, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to put in that work and just, you know, when I get off of work, I go over, I go over what I could have done better to make something go faster. I go over mistakes that I made and make sure that I know how to correct it. You know what I'm saying? Take notes. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like I say, man, I'm not out here to fail. You feel me? But uh, but yeah, man, it, everything came quick, man. So that's why I've been off and on. You know. I didn't have the internet, you know, and, I, and and to be honest, man, I had to really just focus on getting this job down too because I didn't want to put too much on my plate because that'll end up stressing me out and I'm not trying to roll out like that. I already, you know, deal with depression and anxiety sometimes, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you, you, you know, you as a person know how much you can put on your plate and for right now, you know what I'm saying? I had to just really just focus on that job. I would focus on, you know, getting them roaches up out the crib and stuff like that. But, uh, man, once I, once I really get settled down in my apartment, you know, I get all my workout equipment, man. I'm, I'm coming and grabbing my barbecue pit. I'm grabbing my dip station. I'm grabbing my my uh my pull-up bar that you put in the doorway uh, i'm grabbing my weighted vest i'm grabbing my uh dumbbells um <clears throat> i got a punch bag if i ain't said that yet and i ordered on amazon i ordered a uh i ordered a decline setup bench and i also i ordered me a sofa i ordered me like a little love seat sofa you know what I'm saying? I'ma grab uh I'ma grab my TV. You know what I'm saying? And take it back to Dallas, you know what I'm talking about? And uh and uh get the cleaning, man. My main thing is I wanna get that flow. I wanna clean out the them shelves in the kitchen. I wanna clean the kitchen countertops and I wanna, you know, clean the floor. Boom, hit the kitchen, hit the living room just for right now, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and start building, and start putting up my, uh, and, and, re, and rebuild my, uh, my workout equipment, because I'm gonna have to break that down with some tools, and then, you know, rebuild it when I get back to Dallas. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, man, I just have to trust the process, man. Sometimes, you know, I have doubt, but you know, I have to challenge them. You know, I have to challenge them thoughts because doubt is going to come. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not, it's not all about what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? You literally, you have to trust the process. You know what I'm saying? I wake up every day in the morning and I, and I do self affirmations. I talk success into my life. I talk positivity into my life when I'm at work. I do the same thing, and then when I get home, I, I do it again. You know, throughout the whole day, I'm just speaking success into my life. You know what I'm saying? I refuse to lose. I refuse to have a negative mindset, you know? But uh, <clears throat> once I get settled down in my apartment, it, it's really about to go up from there. You know what I'm saying? I got my internet cut on. So it's about to be, you know what I'm saying, some non-stop, you know, transformation. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to be on that keto. You know what I'm saying? I work nights. So when I get up, when I when I wake up, man, I'm, I'm going to hop straight up out the bed. And, you know, if I feel like going outside and do the video, I do that. But if I, you know, but if I want to stay home, I got that, I got my little home workout gym. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm doing calisthenics, so I don't need to go to a gym to, uh, in order to work out. You know what I'm saying? So, 
it's about to be some non-stop, man. I'm really about to get this weight up off me. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm 300 and some pounds, man. That stuff, you know, when you working hard, man, that's extra wear and tear on your body, man. You know, hauling around all that weight like that. You know what I'm saying? I already, you know what I'm saying, got two bad knees, so I can't go out like that, man. I got to I gotta make sure I'm at, you know, my top performance level. But, uh, I guess I'll go ahead on and pause the video right here, man. And, uh, y'all see me when I hit my mama crib. You know what I'm talking about? One. Sean G, he has the dopest channel on YouTube. And I love my son, Big. <laughs> <It's really laughs> yeah. Oh Lord, man, that's my mama right there, man. You know what I'm talking about? I'm about to grow. You know what I'm talking about, boy, I got the the pot roast. You know what I'm talking about? The yams, the corn, the rice. I ain't about to play no games, man. You know what I'm talking about? So the next time y'all see me, it's gonna be when I got that car packed up, my shit, and I'm about to go back to Dallas. So y'all stay tuned in. You know what I'm talking about? I'm big like the band, not the pig. You dig? Uh. Yo, yo, yo. On my way back to Bone. I mean, on my way back to Dallas, man. Let me show y'all. I got this car packed up, man. I got a punching bag. A barbecue pit back there. I got my, I got a TV back there. I got a lot of my uh, workout equipment in the trunk. But yeah. Heading back to Dallas, man. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What it do, what it do, what it do, man. Back at the crib, back in Dallas, you know what I'm talking about? About to show y'all what it looked like in a car, man. I got it stuffed up in here, man. Let me switch this camera. You know what I'm talking about? That's my punching bag right there. I got all this up in here. I'm a barbecue pit. Got my TV. I got some stuff, some other stuff. I don't even know what the hell it is. Then you got the trunk. I got my dip station, got my weighted vest. I picked up some stuff from the stove before I came home. You know, I got some free weights in there. I got some, I got some more uh, dumbbells in there. I got some uh, 30s. And uh, I'm about to bring all this in the crib, man, and put it in my closet. And then I, um, I should, let me switch it around. And then I'll show y'all my, um, I uh, showing y'all my uh my cleaning products. I'm sorry, man. I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? I've been on that road. I woke up early and got on that road, man. So I'm tired right now. I haven't been getting much sleep, period. You know what I'm saying? But I'm about to get in here and um I'm about to put this stuff up and um I'ma uh I'm gonna start uploading some stuff up to YouTube, man. I'm a I'm a uh eat me some fruit or something, man and just go ahead and relax because I got to be to work tomorrow. So I see y'all on the inside. All right, boom. I got everything set up. I didn't read. I didn't put my pit back together, my smoker. You know what I'm talking about? Got a little thing for the charcoals. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. That's it. That's it for me, man. I'm about to. I'm about to upload these videos to YouTube, man. That's it. I'm about to chill, about to take me a shower. Uh, you know, eat a little bit. Upload. Oh, yeah, let me show y'all the. Uh... No, thanks. My mama put me on game. My mama gave me a whole list of stuff to get. I ain't even have to think for myself. <laughs> I got some rags to wipe down and clean with. They they disposable. Got the gloves. Got the sanitizer wipes. This for the sink. They got like some rust in the sink. Uh, it's a big old like it ain't too big, but it's like a little janitor bucket. I got my plunger and toilet bowl cleaner. Um, I had some heavy duty uh, trash bags, but I was gonna use that for something else. I got my mop. Got my got my push broom. I got another type of broom. Got some ammonia. Got a dust pan with a little broom. Got my washing uh, detergent. Got my mopping solution. 
red bucket, you know what I'm talking about? And I got a little dust mop that came from my mama too. But uh, shit, I spent by like 200 and something on that. Just on cleaning products, but it's all good. But uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this video. I don't know if I'm gonna, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna stretch it out. Let me get out that light. I don't know if I'm gonna stretch it out and uh, you know, kind of give y'all the the after effect of once I get out of my studio equipment, cause. First thing first, I'm about to do a deep cleaning on my apartment, and then I'm gonna set up my. Uh, I'm gonna start, you know, building my my uh, workout equipment. Today is Sunday, and um, Wednesday, I have a um, I have a decline setup bench coming in from Amazon, so I gotta build that. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do because I'm going to be off Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'm going to pick a day and barbecue on one of them. I think it might be Wednesday. Wake up early in the morning and barbecue. And uh, probably going to smoke some ribs and some chicken. That's it. I'm about to get back started on my keto one meal a day. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I have no excuse not to work out. I'm going to have a home gym. I think they got a park down the road, you know, whenever I really want to do some burpees. Because I'm really not trying to do that in my apartment. You know what I'm saying? I just get too sweaty and start getting slippery, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, like, on the days that I'm off and I don't have nothing to do when I just got free time, they do have a calisthenic park out here. So, I will be going to that. Um... You know, I'm, I'm not that good at uh, pull-ups right now, so I've been seeing a couple of videos. I think, um, I forgot the guy's name, man. I watch him all the time. But he was showing like a beginner way to start up, you know what I'm saying, your pull-up game and how to build the strength in your back. But I'm going to look him up. So the day, the day that I uh, do the video, I'm going to give him a shout-out, you know what I'm talking about. Get my pull-up game right. I already got the dip game right, you know what I'm saying? I just got to lose this weight, hit more reps. But uh, that's it, man. That's it, man. Uh, that's that's the end of the day for me. But y'all take it easy. And uh, I'm big like the band, not the pig, you dig? Uh, hold up, baby. Hold up. Yo, 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 what it do? Big Bell Chiller, man. Up here at the washeteria right now, or the laundromat for some people, you know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, we call it the washeteria. And um, just sitting here thinking, you know, that <clears throat> daily when I wake up, I have to uh, battle my own mind. I have to go to war with myself. Hold on, wait a minute. I think somebody, make sure they ain't about to back up into my car, man. The hell? But anyways, <clears throat> I had to go to war with myself because my mind is so used to um, thinking negative, you know what I'm saying? Especially when something goes wrong, my mind is trained to, to tell me that, um, ah, shit, no, 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 no. My mind is trained to tell me that everything is going wrong for me, you know what I'm saying? And I know I'm not the only one. <clears throat> you know, I, I I got the divorce. I came out of we got here to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? I did all that off unemployment money, man. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't employed at all. I, was, I wasn't getting food stamps or nothing like that. But they did throw like an extra $300 or something like that with the stimulus money onto the... Uh, onto the... Uh, to the unemployment but anyways you know I came out here and every now and then I would get afraid of failure you know every time something didn't go my way here, here come those negative thoughts oh uh, yeah you know shit about to go downhill this time you know what I'm saying <clears throat> and I'm saying all this to say this you know what I'm saying you gotta make sure you trust in the process because 
it's not it's not about what it looks like and you got to always keep in mind that not everything comes easy you know what i'm saying like you have to learn <clears throat> you have to learn through trial and error you know what i'm saying just because something goes wrong doesn't mean that your life is going downhill you know you have to get to a point where you stop reacting in the same manner that you always did you know what i'm saying you have to start challenging those negative thoughts and you have to start basically <clears throat> standing back up and fighting you got to fight all your life man every time something happens that's life pushing you or punching you or kicking you depending how how bad you feel <clears throat> so if you ain't the type of person unless somebody hit you in real life and not swing back you got to do the same way with life <clears throat> and um that's just what I've been doing all day, man, sitting here battling in my mind. You know what I'm saying? I eventually had to just get up out the house because I was going to watch clothes tomorrow. But I was like, man, I got to get up out of here because <clears throat> I, I can speak for myself. If I'm in a house too long, not doing nothing, <clears throat> it's easy for those negative thoughts to come up on me like that. So once I got up out the house and went made some groceries, now I'm sitting up here washing my clothes. You know, I had a chance to think and breathe some fresh air and get my mind right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about what it looked like. Long as you had a mindset that you're going to keep pushing and you're going to persevere no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You had a mindset that not everything comes easy. You had a mindset that... Um. Just, just what I said. <laughs> you keep that positive mindset. And you have to train your mind to, you know, when those negative thoughts come, you have to start training your mind and catch yourself and start correcting those negative thoughts. Because half of the time it ain't, well, I'm going to say most of the time it's not even true. And you basically sabotaging yourself. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, just keep that in mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, make sure you're controlling your thoughts. You know, make sure you remember not everything comes easy. Start looking at your failures as trial and error. And um, always had a mindset to persevere. No matter how hard it get, no matter how much you feel like giving up, you need to keep in mind that you're going to keep pushing no matter what. No matter if you feel like committing suicide. No matter if you just feel like giving up in life. You know what I'm saying? You got to persevere through that. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You got to have the courage. Because courage is not being fearless. Courage is, you know what I'm saying, being scared. And you fucking persevere and you fucking do this shit anyways. You know what I'm saying? I was scared to get the divorce. I was scared to move out here to Dallas, you know what I'm saying, but I did that shit, you know what I'm saying, I persevered through that, and I know I didn't come out all this way for me to fail, not everything comes easy, you know what I'm saying, so I'm gonna keep that in mind, hopefully y'all do too, man, I'm gonna end the video like that, but man, I love y'all, y'all be easy, big bad chiller, man, you know what I'm talking about, uh.